Welcome to our channel VD Max Academy. In this video, we are going to see about bilinear transformation in complex analysis. Before, in, in previous video, we have seen bilinear transformation for three points. If all the points are in numerical values, we can solve that problem using type 1 method. If there, if there exists undefined terms, we can solve the bilinear transformation using type 2 method. We can see the problem. Find bilinear transformation which maps z equal to z1 value infinity z2 value i z3 value 0 and w1 value 0 w2 value i and w3 value infinity in previous video we have seen the formula for bilinear transformation for three points once again i repeat the formula w minus w minus w1 into w2 minus w3 divided by w minus w3 into w2 minus w1 equal to z minus z1 into z2 minus z3 divided by z minus z3 into z2 minus z1. This is the formula for bilinear transformation for three points. Using this problem we can using this formula we can solve the problem. Substitute the value w minus w1 value is 0 and w2 value is i and w3 value is infinity w minus w3 value is infinity and w2 value is i and w1 value is 0 z minus z1 value is infinity z2 value is i and z3 value is 0 divided by z minus z3 value z3 value is 0 and z2 value is i z1 value is infinity simplifying this it becomes w into i minus infinity w minus I, w minus infinity into i z minus infinity into i just i am removing the zero terms in the previous steps so that we can get the steps if there is an if there is an undefined term we need to use l hospital rule using l hospital rule we can rewrite this step as w w by i this is the term without infinity so you can keep it out limit n tends to infinity i minus infinity divided by w minus infinity here i by z is the term without infinity so keep it out limit n tends to infinity z minus infinity divided by i minus infinity then then in in place of infinity you put in place of infinity in you replace with the n so that it becomes limit n tends to infinity i minus n divided by w minus n i by z into limit n tends to infinity z minus n divided by i minus n then take n commonly outside this is the term without n so we you, you multiply and divide the term by n so that it becomes like this. Since in, in z there is no n. So you multiply and divide by n. For getting n term. Now, now, now all the term with n. So you take commonly n outside. 
taking n commonly outside it becomes i divided by n minus 1 i n into w by w by n minus 1 i by l set limit n tends to infinity n into z by n minus 1 n into i by n minus 1 then cancelling the n term then applying the limit n tends to infinity then apply the limit n tends to infinity w by i into on applying the limit i n tends to infinity it becomes i by infinity minus 1 divided by w by infinity minus 1 on this side it becomes i by z z by infinity minus 1 divided by i by infinity minus 1 this is the term after after applying the limit n tends to infinity then anything anything divided by infinity value is 0 so applying this in here it becomes w by i into 0 minus 1 0 minus 1 i by z 0 minus 1 0 minus 1 so it becomes i w by i into minus 1 divided by minus 1 i by z minus 1 divided by minus 1 the minus minus get cancelled so the remaining term is w by i equal to i by z on 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 taking this to the right hand side of the equation it becomes w in equal to i into i divided by z since it becomes i square by z the value of i square is minus 1 substituting this here we get minus 1 by z this is our bilinear transformation for this problem i give two example problems you solve by your own first one find bilinear transformation which maps z equal to 0 1 infinity into w equal to minus 5 minus 1 3 this is the problem related to previous one i give another one example that problem is related to the previous solved problem which maps z equal to 0 minus i minus 1 into w equal to i 1 0 thanks for watching video